very excited to be part of uh, this uh, elite group of uh, uh, players, uh, Hall of Famers. It is something that uh, it's only happened one time in life, whatever get lucky. And uh, I'm gonna try to enjoy, man. For sure, the induction. You know, I mean, I still don't believe that I'm a Hall of Famer until I get to be quite there with all of them. I guess that's the uh, that's the time to settle. And I uh, appreciate, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I, I love appreciating and recognizing. And and at some point, call myself Hall of Famer. The most important thing is, you know, being able to be part of the pack, you know, uh, for first time really feel Hall of Famer. Just thanks everyone, man. That's, I'm, I'm a very thankful person and I guess that's the most important thing. I believe on positive energy and my mom and Kirby, I know this, they're gonna be there. They're so gonna be there just, you know, filling me out with controlling my emotions. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because I'm a crying baby, but <laughs> I'm gonna be me, man. I'm gonna be me, and and always, uh, uh, and always, I always gonna thank them for who they were in my life. You know, what 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 place they 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 took on my life, and and what they when they guide me and, and, and taught me about things. I'm gonna let them know, man, that without them. This would have been happening. My teammates, Red Sox organization, even the Yankees have a lot to do with what is going on today. Even being the opposition, and it's because they pulled the best out of me. And, and the rest of MLB also, without a doubt. But that's what makes you a Hall of Famer, you know? When you can come out on top and, and do your thing consistently. And all those memories are archived and and they are quite there. It's just gonna be me, man, you know? I mean, everybody asked me about the speech. I don't know what the hell somebody said before, but I'm just gonna be me. I'm just gonna talk about what I know and what I have been, have been through and the people that, that are related to my career. And that's about it, I mean, it'll be a special, but nothing crazy. And uh, I hope I don't miss anybody. <laughs>
I've been thinking about my life, my career, and most of all, the people that believe in me. I've also been thinking about the lesson I've been thinking from their support and the power that we all have to make and the possibilities different in this world. I want to thank the baseball writer for making me the first designated hitter in the history of Cooperstown to be selected in the first ballot. You guys got it going on. Thanks, guys. This game is so important here in America and around the world. Thank you for all the support you have given baseball as a sport. So that is continue to be part of our culture and part of the heart of all the fans worldwide. My family, mi primos y hermanos, mis hijos de Angelo, Alex, Jesse, David. You guys know that without you guys, this would never happen. You guys were the engine that started this model every day for me to get it going and keep on going. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being there for me always. Mi mamá y mi papá fueron dos gente que a nosotros nos criaron con mucho esfuerzo. Mi mamá era una mujer joseadora, trabajadora, una mujer incansable que siempre quería darle a los hijos suyos lo mejor. Igual que papi, papi siempre sin poder se fajaba con nosotros, conmigo y mis hermanas a meter mano como sea. Tipo a los primeros, el primer juguete que me regaló, me acuerdo que fue un bate y una pelota. Y digo, un guante y un bate. Y el guante era para uno que juegue si oretó, ya tú sabes la vuelta. <ríe> no había guante zurdo por ese tiempo. Se sacrificó mucho para darnos lo mejor y lo más importante siempre trató de enfocarnos en lo que se llama la educación. Papi y mami salían y hacían lo imposible para que yo y mi hermana tuviéramos una vida mejor que ellos. Y eso se lo agradeceré siempre en el alma. Cada vez que daba un honrón miraba hacia el cielo. Solamente dedicándole todo a mi mamá. Porque mami lo era todo para mí. Te amo, papi. Tú lo sabes. Te amo, mami, donde quiera que yo te tenga. I also have to thank the Minnesota Twins for bringing me into the big league. Even that didn't work out. I learned from my time there that once I get my shot in any other place, I was going to work hard to never let it go into the last day I play. And there is another Twins Hall of Famer that I got to know really well and I miss him so much, Mr. Kirby Pocket. He taught me so much about the game. And I, I mean, he gave me so many advice and he was so wonderful to me that when I went to Boston, I started wearing his number, number 34. God bless you, Kirby, whatever God have you. Then the Red Sox. That organization made me the man that I am today. They educate me about the game, but they also educate me about my life. Community service, connecting with people, the Jimmy Fund, the Children Fund. That's why I started the David Ortiz Children Fund that have provided life-saving heart surgery for children in the Dominican Republic and New England. When I first came to Boston, I have a manager named Grady Little, who was the manager at the time, and my very first bat against the twin during spring training, I tried to move and run it over. And I thought when I got back to the dog, everybody was gonna high five me. Everybody stay sit. And the manager put me to the side and told me, hey big boy, I don't want you to be here to move them over. I want you to be here to bring them in. The rest is history. And I also got teammates right here, Los Chicos Locos. Johnny Damon, Mikey Lowe, Dustin Pedroia, Track Nissen, Jason Baitek, King Wayfield, Kevin Euclid, and of course, number 45. I want you guys to know that even with the God-given talent that I have, I don't think I would have made it without the support and love coming from all of you. All I was trying to do, it was bringing team together. That started with honesty and openness. My smaller teammate, where he at, Pedroia? Pee-wee, P. 
Pee grabbed me by the neck one time. And he told me, if you keep on pulling the ball, I'm gonna whoop you. <laughs> and guess what? Big Papi got caught up on fire. <laughs> My teammates always were there for me. And that's something that I always gonna appreciate. And in life, remember, our teammates are our second family. Love you guys, man, forever. Oh, I for, hey, wait, 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 wait. I can forget about Jason Veritek. That man is serious. I love you, Cap. It's been almost 20 years since my first day in Boston. We have some incredible memories. When I think about Boston, I definitely think about 2004, 2007, and of course, 2013. After the city was shaken by a marathon bombing, I had never seen a community bounce back and reunite like Boston. When I think about Boston, I also think about the last game I played, standing on that field at Fenway Park. It feels like the whole city of New England and each one and every one of you was surrounding me and was showing me all your love. I will always be Boston and I will always be there for you, Boston. I love you, Boston. I always try to live my life in a way that support others, that make a positive influence in the world. And if my story can remind you of anything, let it remind you that when you believe in someone, you can change their world. You can change their future. Just like so many people who believe in me. To everyone that believe in me, from my family, to coaches, to teammates, to fans, no, I could not have done this without you. My Hall of Fame plaque represents each one of you. And I'm gonna thank you guys for the rest of my life. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Quiero a mi gente, lo amo. Que viva la República Dominicana, eh.